Welcome to Jade Empire, an action RPG for the Xbox. In this walkthrough, we'll focus on art style, exploration of the world, and character interaction. The second walkthrough showcases combat. Jade Empire is set in a world based on ancient China as seen through its own myths and legends, a sort of China as it might have been if all the stories were true. Jade Empire has a second generation engine that was built from the ground up for the Xbox. It incorporates everything we learned during the development of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Some of the many features in the graphics engine include physics-based cloth, a brand new skeleton designed to support motion capture data, and more than twice as many render paths as KOTOR. Good day, mistress. I hope you were able to sleep well last night. There was a howling wind that kept most of the students up. This is an example of a typical NPC interaction. If you played KOTOR, it should seem very familiar. Like KOTOR, we're doing full VO and lip syncing for everything, including some VO for the main character. The wind blows right through them. Yes, mistress. One of our goals for the game is to make it look like a Chinese painting brought to life. Our art director has spent years studying Chinese architecture, landscape, and art history. Notice the butterflies, the rippling water, the sunlight, and all the other details that add to the area. Our goal is to bring this lush, gorgeous world to life with each game area. This is an example of the reward system in the game. You earn a statue of the most powerful creature you have defeated to date. And in some cases, you don't just earn statues. You earn the creature itself as a follower. In this case, it's Chai Ka, the Heavenly Gate Guardian, a very powerful protector spirit who joins you only if you defeat him and have followed the good path. Here you can see two more followers. Like Chai Ka, they only join you if certain conditions are met. Ah, it's you. Nice school you have here. Had some trouble with this swill master, but as long as he keeps the wine flowing, we'll be fine, friends. The first guy here is known only as the Black Whirlwind, and he's been drunk since breakfast. Warriors like us deserve it, huh? Ah, the earnings of a stiff backhand. Ah, like we agreed after you beat me in the arena. We don't want our common enemies to know we work together now. Yes, best to play it cagey and keep them guessing. I'll drink to that. Right, cagey. I've got it. Ah, uh, wink, wink, eh? Right, I get it. Cagey, like a tiger. A caged one. Me? The Black Whirlwind sells his axes and fists to the highest bidder. Uh, prices are different depending on which axe, or if it's one, or both. Both fists cost the same, though I'd recommend the right to anyone that asks. You just let me know if there's anything you need done. Or anyone. Done, I mean. Done means dead. See? Well, not at first. If they were dead to start, there wouldn't be much for me to do. Like KOTOR, players in Jade Empire must choose the path of good or evil, and their choices have far-reaching impact on the way the story unfolds. I need more wine. I never go looking, I just finish what other people start, except wine casks. Those are pretty much all mine, if the innkeep knows what's good for him. The other guy is called Henpecked Ho although he wishes people called him Bun Master. Hello, mistress. What do you need? You have earned a good discount at any shop in the village. No discounts! Yes, yes, thank you, wife. Such a gentle spirit. Leave me to business. Ah, of course. You can see here that characters in Jade Empire have between two to three times as many polygons as characters in KOTOR. And you can also see another new graphics feature, a rim light that highlights the edges of game characters. He bullies them into buying. This is a matter best handled by one of your followers. Just tell me who should be sent, and I will ready supplies. Oh, at present only... only Whirlwind is available. That's the Black Whirlwind tap, monkey. Get it straight or ready your weapon. Yes, my mistake. The Black Whirlwind is ready, mistress. I'm sorry, but he's all that we have right now. Uh, forgive me, mistress, but this is only a demo. I am uncertain if your other followers currently have heads. Stinking Whirlwind has his head and doesn't use it. The others would be worse? 
Please, wife. As a supporting comedic foil, I have a good chance of surviving to a sequel. Don't enrage the drunken axe man. Surely enough that my part could be replaced by henpecked mole. I will point him in the right direction and have a report ready when he returns. It may be several days. A report? My results will be in the red of the river and the crying of their children. This trickster will steal no more. Have the wine ready. I'll be back before dawn. This may not go well. I'll let you know when he comes back. Is there anything else? Maybe some buns? You know me, Mistress Wu. I manage the village based on your decisions. It is a temporary honor while Master Lee is away. I would much rather be a simple bun master, but we all must make sacrifices for the good of the village. What sacrifice? I do all your work now. I would help, wife, but the buns must wait. The buns must wait. Everyone knows how you sent sagacious Lou to, uh, negotiate in the Shining Falls landowner's dispute. The farmers were wise to ask your help. Now more produce will go to the people instead of being used as tribute to an overlord. I may even be able to reduce prices because of it. Many people will profit because of you, mistress. Your status has greatly improved in the eyes of the people. Again? I'm sure there are better things for you to do. I don't want to bore you. Forgive me, but I think my wife might disapprove of your repeated interest in me. No whispering! <sighs> yes, wife. Thank you for your trust. Melodious wind from the celestial temple itself. Of course, mistress. I await your return. And that's the end of the first Jade Empire walkthrough. In part two, we'll focus on combat and take a look at the spirit world.